Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Valerie Mills. Thanks for logging on to my Fox Hurricane. We are still tracking Tropical Storm Barrel, which at this point is expected to make a landfall somewhere on the south coast of Texas. Late Sunday night, early Monday morning is when impacts will start for those areas. This storm has now crossed the Yucatan Peninsula, and unfortunately it took a little bit more of a northerly track. We thought if it would end up further south in the Yucatan, we were pretty confident that it would disrupt this storm enough and it would take it on a more southerly track with most of our impacts to mainland Mexico. Now that it's merged into the Gulf of Mexico, it really was able to maintain a decent amount of strength as it kind of clipped the northern part of the Yucatan Peninsula. Now it's still disrupted the storm quite a bit, much less organized, especially on the south side of it, but we expect it to continue to strengthen over the next day and a half as it is sitting over very warm Gulf waters. We're talking mid 80s all across this area. That's going to allow plenty of fuel for this storm to strengthen. So here's a look at where our hurricane watches are. Most of the Texas coastline is under a hurricane watch as well as a storm surge watch. So as we play this out here, we currently have sustained winds 60 miles per hour and this storm has slowed down quite a bit. Now moving to the west northwest about 12 miles per hour compared to the 20 and 22 that it was kind of clipping through at a very fast pace through most of the Caribbean. Unfortunately, that slower speed that will give it a little bit more time to strengthen. So here's a look at our track map. We expect it just ahead of the coast of Texas to reach back to category one hurricane strength. As far as the timing of the landfall, it looks like early Monday morning is when it's going to move on shore and then a front kind of drifting by the north of Texas is going to allow this storm to originally move to the north before it takes a turn to the northeast. So through the middle part of the week, we are going to be talking about some tropical impacts, even though it's going to be a post tropical system. Still quite a bit of rain likely going to be possible as it continues to move through parts of the deep south quickly after making a landfall, though we expect it to weaken as these systems typically do once they get away from those warm waters. But as far as our storm surge watch, generally runs from about Galveston to Brownsfield, but we're expecting most of our impacts to be around Corpus Christi just to the north. So this is kind of the window that we're watching for the best impacts from any landfall. This is where our storm surges will be up to about three to five feet to the south of Corpus Christi to Brownsville. We're talking two to four feet of storm surge and then around Houston, Galveston coastal areas up to four feet of surge will be possible as well. And beyond the coast, as I just showed you, this is going to move inland pretty quickly, bringing some torrential rains. So even Houston, Dallas, we're looking at some pretty big rain totals to be possible over the coming days. This will really start to ramp up come Monday as that storm moves on shore. So as far as rain totals, we're looking at five to 10 inches to be possible for this part of Texas. Even some isolated areas will get closer to 15 inches of rain. And of course, that is going to come with tropical storm force winds, especially for the the coast, but even into parts of inland Texas as it continues to weaken through the day on Monday. Otherwise, barrel is the only system that we're tracking right now. You can see that Saharan dust drifting across parts of the Atlantic into the Caribbean. That should keep things pretty quiet at this point, but our main development region for the month of June, typically close to home in the Atlantic, the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. So we'll continue to watch these areas, bring you updates if anything else starts to spin up right here on my Fox Hurricane.